good morning everyone i am rajini from dbs it college my branch is ece and my subject is third year second semester electronic measurements instrumentation last class i was discussed about the signal generator what is the basic signal generator and what is the function generator so in the function generator it will generate the different types of the waveforms that already we seen in the last class another one is the square and pulse wave generator in square and pulse wave generator we can take the difference of the duty cycle because of the square wave and pulse wave generator mainly it produce the duty cycle so we can differentiate the duty cycle differences between the square wave generator and pulse wave generator next coming to the another one that is the standard sweep generator the standard sweep generator first we can take the sweep generator first what is sweep generator the sweep generator is also called as the time based generator is also called as time based generator so the sweep generator is also called as the time based generator where for the time based generator the output wave form it produces the likewise if it is the on state that is the last class we discussed if it is the on state means that is the one state so zero to it rises the maximum peak amplitude value so this we can take here maximum voltage so this is the maximum voltage where it was in the on state after discharges so it will be likewise if it is the discharges it will be likewise so this is the on off state so that means discharges means the device will be discharges so that is the off state so it falling down up to this time period so here when the device is on that is the on state that is the positive ramp voltage when the device is off that is the negative voltage so that is the down that means the falling down that is the off state where the time duration we can consider from positive peak maximum positive peak value up to this we have to consider here this is the storage time that is the sum sorry is the sweep time we can call as this is the sweep time whereas the falling of the device that is the off then the time we can call as the restoration time restoration so here the total time period we have to consider maximum capital t where the capital t is equal to sweep time plus restoration time so this is the total time period is equal to sweep time plus restoration time this is the maximum time duration we can consider by using this waveform likewise the sweep the sweep generator will be producing likewise so here the standard sweep generator we can take the linearly output voltage v not means that is the linear output voltage or linear output current so this we have to consider in the sweep generator that is the linear output voltage v not linear output current i not next what is another one why we are using this sweep generator means in the cro to sweep the electron beam from left to right of the deflection horizontal deflection why because of here it will be uh, leveling where is the sweep time so we can consider in the cro 
system next another what is the use of the sleep generator is it used in the tv receivers it used in the tv receivers so these are the standard sleep generator so the standard sleep generator we can called as the time based generator or voltage generators so we have to take why we are using the sleep generator means we can linearly if we can linearly take the output voltage and the output current so this sleep generator we can generate in the cro that is from electron beam see electron beam from left to right we can varies with the time horizontally next it is used in the tv receivers it is used in the tv receivers so this is about the standard sleep generator coming to the block diagram this is the block diagram of the standard sleep generator so in this block diagram the main blocks we can remain here master rf master oscillator and amplifier frequency sweeper marker generator and manual frequency control output attenuator level control so this basic block diagram first coming to the first block here the manual frequency control why we are using this manual frequency control means to adjust the resonant frequency for applying this block diagram so next here we can take this is the marker generator so this marker generator it will be identify the frequency level of frequency interval so it will be identify the so it will be identify the frequency interval duration next this here marker generator we can get the marker output so this marker generator connected to the rf master oscillator and amplifier next frequency sweeper so this frequency sweeper we have to take the sweep frequency that is connected to the rf master oscillator so it will adjust the it will adjust the uh, frequencies so here we can take here it produces the output attenuator again here we can take the level control circuit so this level control circuit it will be monitors the rf level it will be monitors the rf level so rf frequency level that we can take here output so here this marker generator output this level circuit output and here the frequency produces the variable frequency that will be all are mixing in the rf master oscillator so here the total produces uh, will be developed in the rf master oscillator then it will be connected to the output attenuator so here smoothing the output and we can get the sort of uh, sweep generator so we can get the sweep generator so this is about the standard sweep generator so it is a time based generator and it varies the linear output voltage and linear output current and we are used in the cros why we are using in the cros means to sweep electron beam from left to right and we are used in the tv receivers so here the block diagram it identifies the marker generator it identifies the frequency interval and here frequency sweeper is the we can take for the frequency variations and level control circuit here we can monitor the rf level and all are mixing here in the rf master oscillator then we can get the output attenuator and we have to take rf output so this is about the sweep generator next the another one is the random noise generator another one is the random noise generator so why we can take this random noise generator the output the output changes randomly the output changes randomly and does not contain any periodic components the output changes randomly and does not contain any periodic components so why we can take this random noise generator means suppose we have to take the example of we can give any speech so in that speech if there is any noise it will be coming to the according to the frequency levels so that is the ups and downs sometimes the voice are clear sometimes the voice not clear so it will be generating the noise so that 
that's why we can't get the clarity of the voice so that is the uh, random noise generation for example suppose we can take the music some music base level we have to consider or some music we can take the high level a sound system so these all are the uh, interrupting the noises sometimes the signals are not received at that time it will be making the noise so randomly the noise will be produced so here we can take this block diagram this noise source amplifier modulator and why p use as the filter and then amplifier that means here the noise source is it is a semiconductor noise diode so here it is a semiconductor noise diode semiconductor noise diode so this frequency what is the frequency range so that is the 80 hertz to 220 kilo hertz so for this semiconductor noise diode the output will produce in the amplifier that amplifier it amplifies the output this amplifies the output then it will be connected to the modulator so that means even though so we have to take care this amplifying signal then we can take care modulator that is 0 to 100 kilohertz so this connected to the white pink and use as a filter so if there is any noise even though if there is any noise it will be filtered so this filter after filtering we can get the required signal so that we can amplify in this block then we can get the noise output so even though we can do this process it's having some noise so that we can get here noise output so here we can take this graph how we can graphical representation why we can take this graphical representation means for the analysis simply we can analyze this here we having the three types of the filters what are the filters pink filter uc filter and white filter so here this white filter this is the white filter this white filter frequency response is likewise so the white filter frequency response it will be started from minimum level so this minimum level it will be having the wide band so that's why this random noise generated also used in the wide frequency band that is the white 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 filter we can consider for this graphical representation and here this is the curve curve shape so this curve shape belongs to the uc filter so this uc filter it is energy distribution of the speech and music so that means we have the two different types of the uh, voices that is the speech or music then it will be filtered the speech and it will be getting the music output so likewise we are using this filter next another one is the pink filter so this pink filter also same as the red light so what we have to consider for this the pink filter so these are the different types of the filters we are using for the different types of the situations like speech or music or anything so that is the noise random noise generator it will be produced the random noise generating that is about the random noise generator next the another one is the arbitrary waveform generator so is this arbitrary waveform generator why we are using the arbitrary waveform generator so basically it does not have it does not have any particular periodic shape or characteristics so this arbitrary waveform generator it does not have any particular predefined shape or characteristics so where we are using this arbitrary waveform generator we are used in the test signals we are used in the test signals so we can take any measurements any instrumentation so for that instrument is it working properly or not that we are using by using this generator so that is the test signals next in another use of the arbitrary waveform generator is detect any faults suppose if that instrument is there if that equipment is there any faults or 
there. So if there is any pause, we can't get proper output waveform. So we are using here the arbitrary waveform generator. In the final stage of the any equipment, we can test all those things. So is it working properly or not? The functioning is there or not? And we can take the proper function is also is there or not. Likewise, we can test different types of ways. So that purpose also we are using this arbitrary waveform generator. So detect any faults in the functioning of the system. Next, another use of the arbitrary waveform generator is the proper functioning of the equipment or instrument. So if there is uh, proper functioning is not there. So proper functioning is not there means we can't get the uh, next results of the device. So that's why we can take this what is the use of the arbitrary waveform generator. Next coming to the block diagram of the arbitrary waveform generator. Here address counter, clock, RAM, DAC, D2A, converter, low pass filter, amplifier. So then we can get here output. So here the clock we can connect it to the address counter. So here in this address counter we can give the particular address. So this particular address connected to the RAM. So what is the RAM function here? When we can produce any waveform, it will be stored in the digital form. It is based on the RAM only. So it is stored in the RAM that is in the digital form. So this RAM output connected to here D2A converter. So here the D2A converter that here we can take the output voltage values. So for this output voltage we can connect it to the low pass filter. So here we can store here digital data and here we can get the output voltage. So this output voltage if there is any high frequencies any high frequencies it, any high frequencies components are there it will be filtered so it allows only low frequencies ok that's why we are using here low pass filter then after smoothening of the filters we can take here Amplifier. So for that signal, if there is any weakened signal is there, this amplifier gives the strength, then we can get the output waveform here. So here we are using the sampling theorem. Sampling theorem. So this sampling theorem is Fs is equal to 2 into Fm, that is the Nyquist trait to preserve the information of the signal. So by using this arbitrary waveform generator we can test the signals and we can detect any faults of the system and we can take the proper functioning of the system. So this is the arbitrary waveform generator. Thank you very much. Please all of you subscribe DBS Talks. Thank you so much.